Prince William made sure to help the Queen consort regain her balance as she appeared to stumble whilst walking on stage. The pair could be seen queuing to join the Lord President of the Council Penny Mordaunt, Prime Minister Liz Truss, and the Archbishop of Canterbury to read out the proclamation declaration recognizing Charles III as the new king. As Camilla walked up the step, she seemingly caught her foot in the carpet and nearly tipped forward. But William, the Prince of Wales showed off his quick reflexes as he immediately put his hands on his stepmother's arm to ensure she did not fall. After Penny Mordaunt and the Clerk of the Council confirmed the death of the Queen, a tradition that goes back century, they announced the official succession of Charles III to the throne. Prince William, who was made the new Prince of Wales on Friday, was the first to sign the proclamation declaration, followed seconds later by Camilla. During the formal meeting of the council, six former prime ministers, bishops and a host of politicians shouted God save the king. Just in, King Charles is formally proclaimed monarch in first live televised accession council Prince William immediately intervened to keep Camilla from falling, image. BBC, the Queen Consort signed the proclamation document right after William, image, BBC, as he joined proceedings in the second half of the Accession Council meeting, King Charles said, I am deeply aware of this great inheritance and of the duties and heavy responsibilities of sovereignty which have now passed to me. In taking up these responsibilities, I shall strive to follow the inspiring example I have been set in upholding constitutional government and to seek the peace, harmony and prosperity of the peoples of these islands and of the Commonwealth realms and territories throughout the world. After, Garter King of Arms David White accompanied by others in traditional heraldic outfits read out the principal proclamation as trumpets sounded. Watching on at St. James Swery a few hundred people allowed into the court, including small children on parents' shoulders, a woman clutching flowers and the elderly on mobility scooters. Read more, King Charles' speech in full as new monarch formally proclaimed at St. James Palace Charles later joined the proclamation proceedings, image, BBC, King Charles swore to protect the Church of Scotland during the ceremony, image. BBC, during his proclamation, the King also approved an order that the day of the Queen's funeral will be a bank holiday. Lord President of the Council Penny Mordaunt said, drafts of two proclamations. 1. Appointing the day of Her Late Majesty's state funeral as a bank holiday in England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. 2. Appointing the day of Her Late Majesty's state funeral as a bank holiday in Scotland and of two orders in council, directing the Lord Chancellor to affix the Great Seal to the proclamations. Charles answered, approved. Don't miss, Andrew looks set to take on Queen's beloved dogs after monarch's death, reveal Queen's poignant last moments with Charles and Anne by her side, insight inside Buckingham Palace, glimpse inside Queen Elizabeth II's home, analysis, 